Korea's high smoking rate has long been blamed on the low prices of cigarettes here in Korea, but that may soon change. Exactly. The Korean government announced its first cigarette price hike in 10 years today. Our Hwang Jae has the details on what may be coming. In just a couple of months, smokers in Korea may have to pay almost double what they currently do for a pack of cigarettes. While the change is being welcomed by many, it's also facing strong opposition. I think the price hike could lessen the damage of secondhand smoke since many of my friends say they will quit smoking if cigarette prices go up. People will reconsider buying cigarettes if they're more expensive. When we raise cigarette prices to a level on par with other countries, we should also look at the welfare level of those countries as well. But the government's logic is way too simple, that smokers will quit smoking if tobacco prices rise. The government announced Thursday that it will push through plans to raise the price of a pack by 2,000 won to 4,500 won, or roughly $4.30 starting next year. The aim is to cut the country's high smoking rate. Around 44 percent of adult males currently smoke, which is the highest among OECD member countries. Cigarette prices in Korea, however, are among the cheapest in the world, standing at just around one-third the OECD. CD average. The price has been held steady for 10 years, but the health minister says the time for change is now. We plan to introduce a pricing system where cigarette prices will be pegged to the nation's inflation rate. We hope this proves effective in dropping the smoking rate over the long term. The ministry's goal is to cut the smoking rate for men to 29 percent by 2020. Other anti-smoking measures laid out by the government include mandatory warning images on cigarette packaging and banning retailers from posting any kind of cigarette advertisement. Before any changes take effect, they will have to be approved by the National Assembly and with both ruling and opposition parties raising concerns that the measures will burden smokers in the low-income bracket. Passage is far from a certainty right now. Hwang Jie, Arirang News. You know, I heard uh, some smokers are stocking up on their cigarette supplies. Uh, uh, actually, a convenience store saw the cigarette sales soaring by more than 30 percent yesterday compared to the same day right. the, last week. Well, you know, people stock uh, up on meat and they put it in the freezer. Exactly. I've seen people put um, cigarettes in the refrigerator, so oh, I, I guess they mm. could stock up. But in order for this price hike to actually go into effect, we do mm. have to see it pass the... National Assembly, but the way things are over there, there's going to be another thing for the parties to fight no, but over. The, what's the con controversy? I mean, this is to what? To keep Koreans healthy, right? Stop smoking because it's expensive? No? Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to look at it. But apparently, yeah. the uh, main opposition party is saying that this uh, increase in cigarette prices is going to come at the expense of lower income bracket mm. citizens uh, since they make up more of the smokers and that this money is actually mm. being used to um, so it's a offset heavier, a revenue shortfall. So heavier toll on the lower income bracket. An indirect tax yeah. is the argument. You know, speaking yeah. of uh, politics, I mean yeah. politics everywhere, but speaking of politics, I'm not even sure this cigarette price law bill will ever get any attention, right? Exactly.